Hold on. Why is my face so smooth? Where's my beard? <sighs> Must be the vegan diet taking all my testosterone again. Hold on, let me get my beet juice. <sighs> Every time. That's better. Now watch as my testosterone rises. <clears throat> Ugh. Ah, there we go. Now my testosterone has risen. My beard has started to come out. My voice has gotten scragglier. Let's start this video. Apparently, I'm on steroids, as so many of these comments have vehemently claimed, and recently, it seems like there have been more rumors than ever saying that I'm not natural and that I'm on steroids, which, today, I am here to prove to you that those are not true, but we'll get to that in a few minutes. But before we get into that, can we talk about how anytime somebody is judging another person's physique, basically, if the person they're judging is bigger or more ripped than them, then the other person is clearly on steroids, because the person who's judging is obviously the bar, the limit, what can be attained naturally. And anything better than that person who's judging has to be taking something. Ah, and then on top of that, if you are also vegan, then it is very clear and obvious that you must be sneaking away to get some meat in your diet without anyone seeing. Basically, it feels to me like what it's always felt like in the fitness industry, where people don't take into account any of the factors of total years of training, lighting, angles, pump in the picture or no pump, etc. But then also with this added factor of if someone is vegan and has anywhere near a nice build, not even like a crazy intense physique, but anywhere near a nice build, they obviously have to be faking veganism and they obviously have to be on steroids. So recently, a lot of my videos have done really well and gotten a lot of views, and with those come a lot more of these steroid accusations. So I thought this would be the perfect time to go to the actual hospital and get a blood test so you can see my free circulating testosterone and we could put this all to rest. Okay, so here I am, I'm logged into kb.org. This is Kaiser Permanente. This is the hospitals down here in Southern California. Uh, and I just got my blood test results in, so I'm going to go there right now. All right, testosterone panel. Panel, scrolling down here this is the total testosterone level and my value is 596 ng per dl i believe that's nanogram per deciliter and the standard range is 240 to 871 ng dl so that means that i am well within the normal standard range. I'm at 600 basically out of somewhere around like 900 is where I could be. If I was taking testosterone or if I was taking any sort of steroids, poor hormones or any sort of PED like that, then my testosterone, my total testosterone would clearly be showing a much higher range than the average standard range. So right here, is the proof it was collected on the 16th the day that i'm recording it is the 21st so there you go there's proof that my testosterone is within the normal ranges and even with showing you this proof from the doctor from the hospital from the blood labs there's still going to be a bunch of hate there's still going to be a bunch of people saying that somehow i faked this or somehow i'm lying or i quit steroids one year ago or something like that you're, you're never gonna win when it comes to this argument, but I figured this was the most concise way that I could put, you know, a mute, a little bit of a cap on people who are claiming that I am not natural. Finally, before I wrap this video up, I wanted to mention that there are loads and loads of studies done proving that testosterone and estrogen levels are unaffected by your soy intake and by being on a vegan diet. Here is my favorite reference, which I'll put below this video if you guys wanna go actually read this research yourself. Basically, this is a meta-analysis of many different research studies that have been done to determine whether soy and a vegan diet has an effect on your estrogen and testosterone. And the study says, the results of this meta-analysis suggest that neither soy foods nor isoflavone supplements 
supplements alter measures of bioavailable tea concentrations in men. So everyone, we can stop worrying so much about whether you can have tofu or not. And with that, my friends, we conclude today's very short episode. Today, I just wanted to talk to you guys about whether or not I am natural, since there are a lot of rumors out there. I wanted to prove to you guys that I am. I also wanted to clear up what is attainable physique wise as someone who is natural and is putting in time in the gym. And I also just wanted to kind of clear up what the research actually says versus the rumors that you hear day to day out there on the internet especially. And so I hope you guys really enjoyed today's video. I also am working on a video that I'm gonna release probably at the end of February that is really exciting and sees exactly how far we can push ourselves with our intake of soy. That's all coming very soon. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Show this to people who for some reason think that vegan bodybuilders don't exist and we can't do it without being natural because this is the proof right here. I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you did, make sure you give it a big old thumbs up. Let me know what you thought in the comments below and subscribe if you're not subscribed already. Team Beyond the Week, CT. Lift heavy or die Myron, motherfucker. Mm. Team Beyond the Week, CT. Lift heavy.